Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is the Android Switcher Trojan. Before I start, I'd just like to wish all our viewers a Happy New Year. I hope you had a great holiday with your family and friends and enjoyed some relaxing time before tackling this new year. Now, today's story is about an Android DNS switching Trojan that was discovered by one of WatchGuard's partners, Kaspersky. Essentially, they found an Android Trojan that seems to be delivering itself as legitimate-looking Android applications. In one case, it's a Chinese Baidu application that you can download from some third-party marketplace. In any case, if you get infected with this Android Trojan, rather than actually uh, doing anything directly to your mobile device, what it does instead is try to brute force the password on your wireless router. And if it can gain access to your wireless router, it actually changes the DNS or domain name service settings on the router. This means that this one Android victim will end up affecting your entire wireless network because from that point on, everyone in the wireless network that tries to visit legitimate sites may be redirected by this DNS poisoning. Now, DNS switching malware in general isn't new. It's very common for malware to change your local computer or device's DNS setting. That way the bad guy can force you to any website they want, basically man in the middle in all of your internet traffic. However, what's unique about this is it starts with the Android device, but then targets a actual wireless router, thus affecting everyone in the network. Now, the good news, if there is any, is this threat seems to have limited effect. According to its own botnet command and control, it's only affected thousands of uh, wireless routers out there via Android devices, and it also seems to mostly target Chinese victims. The apps in question seem to be fake Android apps that are Chinese. So most people in the US or maybe Europe may not be as affected by this particular malware. So what should you do to avoid this kind of thing? Well, first of all, the tip we always give with Android devices is only download from the legitimate Google Play marketplace or, or whatever legitimate legitimate marketplaces in your region. Be very careful sideloading apps from third-party providers because they can be uh, malicious apps like these ones. On top of that, the switcher malware actually tries to brute force wireless routers and seems to only know the default passwords for TP-Link wireless routers. Whether you run a TP-Link or any other wireless router, you don't want it to have a default password. So make sure to always change the default password on your Internet of Things device. And Anyways, an interesting story, and again, I hope you had a great new year. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.